Hey everybody, Rich Cannon, Southern Utah University Aviation. Today we're going to learn how to start the Bell 407. All right, we'll get started by following our checklist here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure our flight control frictions are set as we'd like them. Cyclics down here below us, collectives over here on the side, those are both set where I'd like them. Next we're going to check to make sure our heater and defrost valves are turned off. This one's off and the defroster is in the off position. Uh, next we're going to check our throttle to make sure it has full free travel. So we're going to go to idle, all the way to fly, all the way to max, back to idle, and then all the way off. Next we're going to go up top and we're going to check our rotor brake, make sure it's up and latched. Once that's up and latched, we're going to stay up here and we're going to check to make sure that all of our circuit breakers are in and that any of our switches up here are in the position that we want them in, which they all are. Okay. After that, we're going to go ahead and do our battery switch. It's going to come on, make some loud noises. And we can mute that each time. It's going to go through its own internal test. We'll get the horn a couple times here. And it's, as it's going through its test, we'll see a different set of lights that come up each time. Awesome. That's the last one. So now we're good to continue. Next, we're going to come down. We're going to check our FADEC horn test. You should hear that gong. Then we're going to check FADEC mode switch. Make sure it's in auto. Make sure our fuel valve is on. Come over here, check our pedal stop. We'll depress that, let go. We should get a light. Put full left pedal in, release it, and then go further. All right, after we're done with our pedal stop, we'll come up here and check our caution lights. The whole panel should light up for us. Perfect. Then we're going to check our fuel quantity, which will tell us how much fuel we have in our forward cell. Around 250, that looks perfect. Then we'll do our LCD check. Everything should light up 8188.8. .8. Should get full deflection on the uh, gauge over here. Then we'll check our instruments to make sure we didn't have any exceedances on these three gauges, which we don't. So we're good there. All right, that's all of the checks. Now we're going to turn on our boost pumps. Boost pumps come on, verify that we have some fuel pressure there. That looks good. Um, we're going to verify that our fuel valve is on and that we have at least 24 volts. And those are both good. Okay, now we're ready to start the engine. There's two different ways to start this. There's a standard start and there's an alternate start. Depending on what our MGT is, it's down at 16 degrees, so that's fine. If it were above 150, we'd have to do an alternate start. So we'll, we will do our normal start. And what we're going to do on that is we're going to make sure our area is clear. We're clear. We're clear. All right, we're going to go ahead and roll throttle to idle. Once it's at idle, again, we confirm we have enough voltage. We'll go and hit our starter for one second and then let go. Off the starter. And now we're just monitoring gauges to make sure that we don't have a hot start. One of the great things about this aircraft is it does have a FADEC, which helps us with the start. All right, we're waiting for our NG to get up to about 63%. All right, we're up there at about 63%. So that's idle. That's where it wants to sit. Okay, once that's good, we'll go ahead and reach up and get our generator switch on. We should see an increase in amperage here. Temperatures, pressures all look good and in the green. We're going to flip our avionics masters on. And then we'll start our uh, after start checks. So we're going to do a preliminary hydraulic system check, which all we're doing here is we're going to turn the hydraulics off. You'll get a light that shows up, and then we go right back on. We're just making sure that there's no bump in the controls. All right, next we're going to get our avionics all set, which they're warming up right now. We've got our G500 over here, 650 over here, and a 430. Um, lots of cool toys to help us know where we're at. Again, gauges are all looking good. Lighting's the way we want it right now for daytime. Then we're going to go ahead and roll up to 100% uh, NP slash NR um, while keeping our torque somewhere around 30% is kind of our goal.
Okay, once we're at 100% here, we can just go ahead and roll the throttle to the fly position. And again, being that it's FADEC, that's just where it wants to sit the entire flight. All right, now we're gonna do our secondary hydraulic check. We're gonna turn the hydraulics back off. The hydraulic light should come on again. And then we're gonna move controls in all four quadrants to make sure it's stiff. Collective should be fairly easy to come up, harder to push down, and then our pedals are also hydraulically driven in this, so we're gonna make sure that we're getting resistance there. Hydraulic switch goes back to on, and controls should be easy to move now. We'll check all of them again. Collective up, down, pedals are easy to move, and cyclic was easy to move. Okay, we're gonna check one more time, make sure everything's in the green, 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 and uh, we're ready to roll. All right, that's our video on how to start a Bell 407. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. Hope to see you next time.